In this video, we're going to show you how you can install the WebJet widgets onto your websites. So first of all, let's go towards the installation code for a floating model. And if we take a look, we can just copy the script and go to any kind of website or any kind of funnel builder that you like to. So for me, let's just go towards my Light Funnels account. This is a funnel builder. And inside of each funnel, I will be able to, let's go to the blog section in this case, I will be able to add the WebChat widget in two different ways. The first option is to include the script into the main header section of your funnel. And for me, inside of Light Funnels, I can do this within the settings section. And from here, I can just go inside my custom scripts and just paste this WebChat widget script inside. If I save this and I preview my blog section right now, then you will see that I get the floating model on the right hand side. Also, you will notice that if I go towards my article section, that it automatically adds that same exact widget as well. So this displays on all my funnel pages directly. Now, if you want to have it only on the specific page mentioned, so let's just save this again and let's go into the specific page. You can also go towards the custom HTML or the header script of this page and you can then paste that in right there. If you save this, you will now notice that it will display on the main section. As you can see here, but if I go inside my articles, you will not see it displayed here. This means that it's only being installed inside of this single page instead of the entire website or the entire funnel in this case. So that is one way that you can install the web chat script. If you are inside of a WordPress website, then you can go towards your plugin section, go with add a new plugin. From here, just search for insert headers and footers. And you will then be able to select any of the available options. I will just use the one from WP code right now. Press activate. From here, you will be able to go towards the code snippet section on the left hand menu and go towards the header and footers. From here, you can just install the script inside of your header, just paste it in and then save the changes. If you go towards the front end, you will see that the live chat floating model will now be installed. If we wait a few seconds, then you will see it being installed right here. Now there are quite a few different kinds of use cases and kinds of styles of your widgets you can generate. We collected a few of them and also added them into our web chat widget documentation and we will link towards the documentation below this video. But if we take a look at the examples given, you will be able to just embed the entire page. As you can see here, it will then go towards your entire page section takes a few seconds to load, but then we have it right here. We're also able to embed the chat window anywhere that we want on the website itself. And that could look something like the following. And this is of course just an embed of the chat window itself, but you can have text on either side above, below, and you can just build your entire website and then just embed this chat window directly inside. Another way is, of course, to pop up open a chat window. And you could do this from the pop up chat window from the icon in the bottom right corner. So if we press this, you will see that we get a nice looking pop up. Or we could also do a pop up, but then triggered with a button. So if we press this button, you will see that we get the exact same pop up. So you can also enable the web chat widget on the press of a button. Important is then to be able to add the class bot trigger button basically to the HTML element to enable the web chat trigger. In the next video, we're going to show you how you can start different kinds of flows for each individual web chat widget. 
This allows you to trigger different kinds of flows for different kinds of use cases. So for example, if you have a web chat widget enabled on a customer support page, it can go towards a customer support flow instead. On the sales page, however, you can go with a sales flow and setup directly. So in the next video, we will show you how to set this up.